some people would like to put their name in the history book in the primary school. So by generation, they will read it that they have done a measure, popular measure. So it will be in the history. So people will remember it. Second is uh, <coughs> the Indian economy was actually uh, suffering a lot, 500 rupees and 1,000 rupees currency note, fake currencies is coming across border, fueling terrorism. India's biggest challenge is, is terrorism. Mm -hmm. So 500 rupees notes and 1,000 rupees notes when you are there, the discontinued. And what is alternative? Uh, almost about 1,000 people died by standing on the queue, going to exchange uh, old currency notes. 500 and 1,000 rupees, because these are the big denominations, so we need to keep it. And by tradition in the history, and by culture, access to the bank is not there in the rural economy. People used to hoard cash, where you don't have the policy to help them to assist uh, exchange notes. So a lot of people died in the process. So, so what is the bottom line? It, it, there is no alternative to protest because you need to get out of your old currency and get a new currency. Otherwise, you will be losing. So that's why people are forced to choose, you know, take the re, uh, recourse of standing on the line. And I've seen, and many people have seen it, you too. So this was a terribly a populist measure. But uh, what the pop leaders, populist leaders were expected that we will stop you know, uh, fake currency is coming. It's not, because it's replaced by a new currency note, which is 2,000 rupees, and a new 500 rupees. So fake currencies are still coming in. <laughs> so this is a bit complicated, uh, you know, one way it has been done. But presently it has been, it is now almost, it is uh, naturalized. And there is no problem in, in anymore. Good side that one billion populations, we are forcing them to a digital economy by for the using, they are not going into it, business people in particular. So due to this drastic measure, they are now forced to move into an e-currency, digital economy. So, so those kinds of things has gone up, which is good in terms of bringing transparency and governance. 